Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Now, YouGov have released the figures of a poll and the results make for some very interesting and somewhat weird, it must be said, reading. Uh, the poll was about the attitudes towards Europe, the EU, Brexit and so forth. And it makes, as I say, this very strange set of numbers. Um, it's one of these things that even though it was the defining issue in the 2020, uh, 2019 um, election, it was hardly and barely mentioned at all in the last election. Of course, in 2019, uh, that was Boris breaking the red wall, becoming the blue wall. As he said, lend me your votes. People did. He got Brexit done. Not entirely done, but he got Brexit-ish. You know, Brexit light. But they got they got some kind of Brexit going. But it's never really been an issue since. Sure, you've had the sad old tossers out there. That Steve, the Welshman fella, you know, rejoin, uh, 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 and he's out there with his little blue hat and his sad megaphone. Britain's biggest tosser, allegedly. Uh, but other than that, nobody really cares anymore because, you know, we've got other fish to fry at the moment. What's the number one issue in people's minds? For a long time, it was the economy. No, not even that anymore, of course. Immigration is number one. The economy is number two. NHS is number three. Brexit, right down the list. Which makes this YouGov poll hmm, odd. Um, a week prior to the 2019 vote, 63% listed Britain leaving the EU as the top issue. Now, none. None. So what are the, um, the, the numbers? Well, the, main, the, big, the big pickup, we'll have a look at some of the numbers in a moment, but the big pickup, of course, is that the majority of people say that the Labour government under Keir Starmer, and this is important, does not have the mandate to put us straight back into the EU. A vote for Labour was not a vote to return. It was not um, a Remain vote. It was not a let's go back into the EU vote. And they're saying, and the vast majority is saying, that if it was to come to that, they'd need another referendum in order to go in. It was a referendum that took us out. It's got to be a referendum to go back in. And in fact, in law now, it does have to be that anyway. One of the things that um, Boris did while still in power was to change the rules to say that any constitutional change had to be put to a referendum. And I don't think even Keir Starmer at the moment would be confident enough even though he's got his huge majority, I don't think he could carry the country with him to change that yet. Uh, so it would take, it would need another referendum. So we're perfectly safe on that front. But it's the fact that so many people say no, they don't have that. Then that said, I mean, 80% of people didn't vote Labour, so that's hardly a surprise anyway. Um, but some Remainers um, may want Labour to reverse course, but obviously... Uh, they know that they can't do it. They may want it, but they, they're not prepared to go that far. Um, two thirds of Leave voters, so two thirds of those who leave, deny the new government has the mandate, but also the majority of Remainers as well. 48% of Remainers say that. 47% um, say don't. There's a small margin of don't knows. So yeah, it's not going to happen. We're not going to be rejoining anytime soon. But, but... And this is where the surprises start. Should we go back in? A majority of people now believe we should rejoin. This is weird. This is very weird. Uh, let me just get the number for you. Find the number. It's there somewhere. 70% of Remain voters want closer ties to the EU without having to go through the referendum. 61% of Leave voters, without so not rejoining the EU, but having closer ties to the EU. 61% of Leave voters want closer ties to the EU. That's just weird. But here's, here's the kicker. Of all voters rejoining, rejoining the EU, 53%. Now, that's as it stands now. I don't know if that's what it would be reflected in an actual referendum when reality was to bite. 
53% of people in this country in this YouGov poll say they'd rejoin in a, in, a, in a referendum. That's a plurality. That's a support for it. And that's very worrying. Now, Starmer himself has said he's got no wishes to hold that referendum. And I know why. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But he says he's got no wishes to hold that referendum. He says he does not foresee Labour. Uh, sorry, Labour. He does not foresee Labour. He said he does not foresee Labour bringing Britain back into the EU. He says he does not foresee Britain rejoining the EU. He says within this or the next Parliament. And I think, I don't think Britain will rejoin. I mean, despite these things, despite the 53%, I think it's too close to call. But I also think that when the facts are laid out and people look at the facts in the cold light of day to see what going in would cost, because going in now would cost us the pound. We would lose all monetary control. That would frighten people. And I think that would be the kicker for it. And I don't think we'll go in, but that's the only thing I think that's saving us. But when even Starmer says he doesn't foresee us going back in, I think we're safe. I think we're safe from not going back in. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have deals and agreements with them because we used to have deals and agreements with the French and the Germans and whatever. And we can do the same. But it doesn't mean that they should be able to dictate to us on our laws despite them wanting to. The true matter of the fact is, though, it's not us wanting to go back in that's the issue. It's the EU are desperate for us to come back in. They're desperate for us for two reasons. One, our vast fisheries. And two, our nuclear stockpile. At the moment, only France is a nuclear power within Europe. And the EU wants to take control of France's nuclear weapons. He says it's too important for one country to have these, and that the leaders of the EU, the unelected leaders of the EU, want to have complete control of France's nuclear weapons. France has so far said, oh yes, 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 yes. We are very much pro-EU. We love the EU. The EU is brilliant. No, you're not having our weapons. France has said no. And that is the main reason I think they want us to get back in. Now, I did say a little while ago that I would tell you why um, Keir Starmer does not want to have a referendum. Referendums are rare things. They're rare beasts. You don't get them often. In my lifetime, two. Right? Two referenda in my lifetime. If he was to have another one, you are sort of starting to say, well, OK, any constitutional, oh, we're going to have more and more. And it becomes more common a thing you're having a direct vote to the people. And the thing that the, 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 the any government really dislike most of all, the one thing that really, really they despise doing is giving power away to the people because they cannot control how people vote. They can persuade, they can argue, but when the people don't have a say, they can make the decisions and they like it. Handing power to the people is a dangerous precedent. And he knows it. And that's why Labour will never give us a referendum. Anyway, we'll leave that there. Thank you very much. Um, I've witted on a bit there. But yeah, I still can't believe that YouGov poll shows a majority, small although it is, want to go back in. I think we're safe, though. Thanks a lot. Bye.